Is there a role that you've always searched for, have not had yet? Do you remember uh, in New York, uh, back in the 60s, this fella Moondog? Who used, to, who used to the, stand the blind up. guy? Yeah, the blind sure. viper. Right. I can play him, man. Yeah! People were drawn to him. People were frightened of him. Some were intimidated by him. Some were in awe. I suppose you would call him the ultimate counterculture figure of the work of living art in New York City. He was there day and night. Fabulous freak dressed as a Viking. The most famous and probably the most photographed street person of his time. Everybody was just looking at him like a rock star. I said, who is that? My father said, well, that's Moondog. I said, what is going on with this guy? What do you do here in New York to make a living? I sell my writings on the street, uh, poetry and music. I had no idea that he was a serious classical composer. He was doing pieces that no one had even conceived of. A blind, homeless guy becomes this hugely influential artist, and everyone from Janis Joplin to Anthony and the Johnsons plays his music. Hello, I'm Holly Elson, the director of The Viking of Sixth Avenue, the first feature documentary about Moondog. Now, many of you will know who Moondog is, but for those of you who are wondering, who's the guy with the horns? Well, for over 30 years, one of the most sought out, recognizable figures on the streets of New York City was Lewis Harden Jr. Looking like an apparition from Norse mythology, he stood day and night, year after year, on the corner of 6th Avenue and 54th Street. He wrote music, sold poetry, and played his homemade instruments. And soon, this strange figure became a modern legend, going from odd curiosity to internationally renowned composer, honoured by European royalty, and entered into the folklore of New York. But to this day, the real details of his extraordinary and surprising story have largely remained a mystery. Told in his own words and with contributions from his musical collaborators, friends and family, The Viking of Sixth Avenue reveals the life, times and music of one of the most fascinating personalities of the 20th century. Moondog is my guest this morning. and How do I describe Moondog? Moondog looks like Walt Whitman, tall, blind musician. But who is Moondog? I'm a composer and a poet. I was born in uh, Kansas in 1916, lived in Wyoming as a boy, and eventually I got to New York in 1943 and began recording in 1950. Sixth Avenue was my stamping ground, and I would uh, sleep in doorways uh, mostly around 54th and 55th Street. He brought such an unusual thing to such a banal place. It was a very straight scene there, all suits, ties, hats. He was beyond an incongruity. He was like a visitation from another world. People knew he was on that street corner. He was mentioning guidebooks and things like that. Come to New York City, see the site, go to Central Park, uh, go to the Statue of Liberty, go and see Moondog doing his stuff on this corner. You know, it was like a thing to tick off on your itinerary. There was a piece in the Village Voice about him in 69. The article said that he was looking for a place to live. So I walked up to the work and I told him I had a place and I invited him to come and stay there. He stayed for a year. We played music every week. It was John Gibson, Steve, Frank and myself, and we were a little trio. The best way to find out about someone's music is to play it. So that's what we were doing. Welcome on stage, Moondog. There's no frills, window dressing. It's honest, it's imaginative, it's cathartic, and it's well-crafted. Those are the things I look for in music, and he's got all four of them. When you start digging into it, you say, well, this is an original. It's an American original, an unexpected source, a young man from Wyoming or someplace, blind and dressed like a Viking, and talked like a sage and wrote poems that you could buy for a 25 cent season. And this guy is, uh, here we are, making movies about him. I mean, this is really an unusual guy. Moondog's story plays out across much of the 20th century. It goes from the plains of Kansas to the New York Supreme Court and onto the streets of a small German town. It really is an epic tale, and we want you to help us tell it on a big scale. 
We've tracked down a host of great people who knew and worked with Moondog in the US, UK and Europe. We've unearthed some beautiful archival material that will enable Moondog to tell his own story and we've discovered new Moondog music still in the original Braille scores that has never been heard before. We are asking you to join us in making this film by donating to our Kickstarter campaign and in the process you'll get some pretty great Moondog themed rewards. The main reward of course is the film itself. What you are seeing is just a fraction of the material we have and just a glimpse of this amazing story. I discovered Moondog and his music by chance and when I first heard the music I was hooked and then when I heard his story I really didn't believe it and the more layers uncovered the more fantastical it seemed um, and I really felt like this was a story that had to be told on the big screen. Now, you don't have to know anything about Moondog to enjoy this film. You don't have to be a New Yorker or a musicologist. You just have to like a great story. Please join us in making this film. Please tell your friends and family, your colleagues, and help spread the word about the Viking of Sixth Avenue. Thanks very much for watching.